Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. And today we're going to try to establish a base which might require us to do some contracts. So let's get started. Alright, so we're back here at Surviving as a Trader. We are still at the economy base here, but I'm not sure if things have cycled through yet or not. Honestly, I just quit and came back to the saved game, so probably didn't change anything, but we'll check for the sake of it. So here's the store. What's in here? Same thing. Well, there's a lot more data pads, <laughs> so that's something a little different. Ooh, some interstellar beer. Wonder if that's any good to us in any way. Probably not. So it looks like it did cycle a little bit. Um, but very lacking of a lot of things here. Um, do we want to get some more data pads? Probably, but probably not. Because last time we got seven and they all were like across the planet or in space. So not worth getting sometimes. So contracts are probably changed as well. A few search contracts. Search contracts will net us a lot more than what we had previously. So that's always a good thing. We started with 10,000. We're down to about 5,000 SCs or space credits. Uh, we can't do any of the acquisitions because we're not drilling. So that's going to be really, really tough to do. So we're stuck with mostly search contracts for the most part. Hauling we can't do anytime soon. Because look at the distance that we're going to travel. That's going to require like a jump drive and everything like that. So it's quite difficult to live as a trader in Space Engineers. All right, so our food is a little bit lacking. But I kind of want to just try the beer. See what it does. And it gives us more water and it reduces our sleep. Okay. <laughs> it makes some kind of sense. Um, we're going to eat some rations really quick. We could try to get the food closer to 100, which would be great. And it, that would only be great if I survive as long as I can. But I think we're good on food for now. We have some chips, the tube variety ones. <laughs> so we can stick with that for now. And I was told if we were to check in our, not our, the base's uh, armory, you're going to have weapons and stuff like that. Yes, there is. Of course, I knew that I knew. But I didn't know about the beds having some money in it. I don't know why I just checked that, but <laughs> that's interesting. And I forget that one of the mods, Plant and Cook, does produce organics when you sit in the toilet. But it does reduce your food. So let's try to avoid that for now because we don't need organics just yet. All right, so look at that. Bed number three has 7,000 space credits. Awesome. So I wonder who left that there, but oh well, it's mine now. <laughs> there are things like grinders and hand drills, things like that. We could dismantle them down the line, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Um, does these seats hold anything? No, they don't. Okay, so it's just a bed. So somebody dropped the creds down in the crevices of this bed, and guess what? Now it's mine. Alright, so I think I checked. I don't think I checked all the beds. Alright, so, yeah, looks like we were able to find the 7,000 credits just from looking into the bed. Alright, so we're kind of needing to, we're probably going to have to come back here sooner or later. But we're going to go ahead and, whoop. Got to put the mask back on. Or, I keep saying mask, I meant the helmet. Or a suit back on. And... Once again, we're just going to try to scavenge as much as we can so we can come back here and do some contracts. I think I'm going to do a search contract very soon. Let me just get that unknown signal real quick. And I said I was going to look at these abandoned settlements, but I think I'm going to avoid that for now. Until I struggle way too much where we need to get to the point of scavenging from the abandoned um, settlements and collect some materials to build a base and everything like that or trade and stuff. So, maybe I'll hit that up a little bit later, but right now I feel like we could just get stuff from the unknown signals. We could do a mission or two to see how things work. And what is this? <laughs> a glitch in the planet. Not really. I don't know. It's like some kind of um, 
divide in the middle of the platter or something like that. That was interesting. <laughs> All right, so this time around, we got about six minutes for the unknown signal, so we don't have to worry about rushing and potentially crashing right into it again like before. And this one is not flying away, so I think we're in luck here. I'm going to hit the button, which is behind. And of course, unknown signals gives us a loot roll for new suits. So that's always a plus, except for when this happens here oh there we go got some herbs got some credits and we're looking good in terms of um plan and cook so plan and cook mod needs to be above eat drink sleep repeat for it to work and somebody mentioned in the comments so thank you for that i completely forgot about that so now unknown signals become very important because that's where we're going to be able to grab some food and grow it and things like that so that's a plus of course, the non-plus thing about it is that we have no materials to really build a base to build our planters. So that's going to be a bit later down the line, as you can tell. But right now, we're going to gather as much steel plates from this unknown signal as possible. And yeah, I think we're just going to do a contract to see if we can find... Do, do a search contract really quick and see if we can get the materials um, from the economy base. It looks like we didn't get stone. We didn't get any iron ingots. So, of course, that's going to take some time for it to cycle through. Unless I go roam around and find another economy base. But usually another economy, ba economy base would be pretty far away, I think. Let's go back really quick. Um, we got decent amount of stuff and some extra uh, space credits or SCs. It should, it should be space credits, I think. And we can put that into the ATM. Oh, that was rough landing. <laughs> and I don't think I broke anything. Okay, that was bad. I landed right on that crevice as we hit the ground. So that's what popped me up that way. Luckily, luckily, we built this thing pretty sturdily. And <laughs> that didn't really affect it too, too much, which is great. Very scary, though. But yeah. All right, let's find that ATM right here. Let's deposit these space credits that we found. So we have, looks like 7517. We'll deposit that. And we're good to go. Do we have another one? I thought we just got another one, unless it adds up together. It probably did add it up together, I want to I wanna say. Do we have it a match for a regular uh, cockpit? Another regular cockpit would be this. Let me eight displays at four. So no, we don't have enough. Um, the store didn't have displays either, so can't afford that. So yeah, it's quite the struggle to be a scavenger slash trader in these cases here. <laughs> so I I think we do might have to go to the abandoned settlements to actually get things done. Now the great thing is that there is iron ore, but the problem is that we don't have an assembler. So we came and use or refine iron ore right this moment. So the only thing we can work with is going to be an iron ingot or some stone, which it doesn't seem like they sell any right this moment anyways. And I have a ton of weapons that I stole from this base, but I can't even sell them either. So that's a problem. <laughs> so they're luckily just going to have to be dismantled in some ways. All right. So contracts, contract. Right, so I'm not the biggest fan of contracts because... They're pretty hard to find, but I think in Mars is it's pretty flat, so it's not too bad. So this one's a container got lost during transit, and a client of ours is eager to see it return. Go to its last long vacation and find this container. Let's just accept this one and kind of see how it goes, because I believe the higher cost one is pretty far away. Yeah, that's 12 kilometers away from where we are and we only got about half an hour to do this really so that is not a lot of time <laughs> mm -hmm. 
we're about two kilometers away and the weather is a bit against us so finding this container is gonna be even harder so that's no fun <laughs> all right here's the last loan location and I think we're in luck it's right over here look at that <laughs> easy peasy contract and I think we have to go back to collect the funds nope we got transferred the balance right there so we got 60,000 right there off the bat easy as that so that's awesome um, not much that we had to do here usually I've done a few of these before in the past and it's really difficult to kind of see the light especially with the weather system but we got we got so lucky on that so we could use that to buy whatever we can in the economy base but once again the economy base the biggest problem is that there's not a lot of supplies in there so we're gonna have to figure that out so i'm gonna head back and maybe pull one more and if there's not much else to do we definitely have to hit up a abandoned settlement as much as i don't want to All right, so we almost made it in one piece. Um, a bit of collision here and there, which is not great. All right, so we did lose a thruster up front, um, but it doesn't seem to be a big problem, which is great. <laughs> in some ways, since we could still stop the vehicle by hitting the brakes on the wheel, so we're good with that. Another thing we did, we ran right into a ore deposit that's sticking up on the ground. And luckily the wheels were in front over here, stick it out. And it bounced back just a bit and didn't really destroy much of the rover. That should have taken me out, but luckily it didn't. So we're going to avoid the thruster on the going forward. We, just, we can leave that alone. We don't need it. So we can save some uh, mats. But we did loo lose one of the left thrusters, so that's a, big, a bit of a pain. But luckily, we had the mats to repair that, so not a big deal whatsoever. Definitely not liking going outside with the weather right now because I could not see a thing and I didn't even realize that ore deposit was sticking out there until I hit it. <laughs> so yeah, never drive so fast with a random fog like this or a really bad fog like this. All right, so back in economy base away from this crazy, crazy weather and looks like we need some food. So I think we eat an apple, which is great. Instead of growing it for now. Uh, but let's eat some two variety chips for now. And see what kind of trouble we get into with these contracts. Or let's look at the store and see if it's cycle real quick. And it did. So we got cabbage, cobalt, ingots. Ooh, that's close to what we need. But we could use that for metal grids, but not yet. And we have iron ingots. I think we are saved here. 174 piece um, per unit and it's 5k worth. Can we afford all that? And it looks like it's selling food, which is good. So I guess this all kind of works out. <laughs> all right, so iron ingot we definitely need. So how much can we buy? Do we buy all? I say, yeah, why not? <laughs> and do what we can with the iron that we're going to get from it. So 903 is the total cost so we can't buy 5k can we buy 3k we could so we could buy a little bit more than 3k oh we can't even buy 3k we're gonna buy 300 worth so that's not great 300 worth of iron ingots which is terrible but it's gonna have to happen and we're gonna situate ourselves with some food water wise we're good food not so much so What's decent in terms of food? Herbs? <laughs> um, nah. We can just live on some chips for now. It looks like we can't buy too many. 
we'll buy 10. And then we should be decent on food for now. And that's what we're going to live on, basically. So we're going to live on <laughs> um, cosmic coffee and some tube chips for now, I guess. Unfortunately, we can't buy anything else. But if I make myself poor, I can buy 12 more. Should I do that? Sure. <laughs> Let's see how well that's going to work. Well, I have 588 left over there, which is fine. But what can we do here? I mean, acquisitions, we probably can't do because we don't have that many steel plates, that many motors. Although we well, ourselves need motors. I do wish the weather goes away so we don't have to worry too much about that. But let's do a short one. 25,000 worth right here. 16 minute duration. So the last one we did was our 49 credits and that was like 12 kilometers away. This one should be shorter distance. If not, then it's not worth doing the lower cost ones. All right, so we accepted that one. So let's just head out and see where that brings us. I would hope that the weather system dies down as we're traveling. All right, perfect, actually. It's only two kilometers away. So that makes it a lot better than 12. So yeah, I guess the more it costs, the further it is. All right, so we got 16 minutes. So we're going to dash on towards this uh, spot here. So it's the same kind of mission. It is a last known ship location. And hopefully I don't break anything. <laughs> I need more motors for a new thruster. A new shiny thruster that we destroyed. I think I think we destroyed it crashing downwards when we hit up a ramp. Which was not great. But yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're hitting the 800 kilometer mark. So yeah, with the search. It might be a little easier with the storm and or nighttime Because... You'll be able to see that little bit of a light that it's shining. So let's just get closer to it. So definitely wasn't on that spot. So we go further out forward. Um, close to 750 kilometer, um, meters, not kilometers. We should be able to see something. If not, then we'll turn back around and check the other directions. And this is the one that's, and this is where it gets difficult to see these things. <laughs> like, unlike before where it was like simple, quick and easy because it was right next to the marker. So this one is not next to the marker. So now this is a bit difficult to find. And we're, we're kind of in a flat area in some ways, but not really too. So some hilly area, so we really got to look carefully to see if you spot some kind of lighting. And I'm not seeing anything specifically, so this is not going to be fun. We got 16 minutes to do this, well, a lot less than 15, 16 right this moment. But we just got to travel around and see if we can find anything. I think I see it right there. Is that it? Or is that the ground? Nope, that's it. All right, so I kind of want to get as close as possible to it as a person. And there it is. We found it. And it is taken back. And that should give us, yep. So now we have more money for some iron ingots. <laughs> so let's head back and hopefully the station didn't cycle just yet. I don't think it did, but we should check just in case. <laughs> we definitely could use the materials there. And so far so good in terms of surviving as a trader or scavenger. In this case, the lightning, it looks crazy. And we're about to break stuff again. All right, that's a bit bouncy. <laughs> and we definitely need to get our wheels set up a little bit better. Okay, we just broke something. That is not good. We took out... Oh, okay. That's very not good. We just took out our O2, H2, and we might have dropped our ice. Um, 
that is going to be a problem because now we're going to have we have to rely on getting ice or oxygen from the um, station. I think this is ice. Yes, it is. Okay, we jumped this thing here, which we should be we should have been a lot more careful than that. And I don't know if anything else fell down here. Doesn't look like it. So shoot. So yeah. Okay. So it should not have done that. Luckily, my battery wasn't destroyed. That's that would have been a big, big problem. So let's just add this O2 back. Should be around this way. Yep, missing a motor and a large steel tube. A large steel tube is likely in a wheel somewhere. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. So we're kind of screwed there for the time being. Um, it's probably in here. I'm gonna grab. Take it away from that thruster for now. Because we don't we don't need it. And of course we're still missing one. Okay. So that's going to be fun, <laughs> but it's all right. We're going to head back to this station really quick and hopefully nothing cycles so we can grab some more iron ingots so we can get start building and maybe just maybe we can establish a small little base that would be able to produce a large steel tube. And that's just really, really being hopeful. Okay, so it looks like. It hasn't cycled just yet, so we're good. We're good to go. We're gonna make ourselves broke once again. So you buy about 150 worth. So let's do that. And the more missions we do, the better reputation, and maybe net us some cheaper materials as well. So yeah, we can hope for that. <laughs> All right, another unknown signal just came out. So let's get to that. And we got to be very cautious about hydrogen and oxygen. Since we destroyed our O2H2 system, which didn't have much ice in it anyways, but still. Yeah, the, the amount that was in there was enough to sustain me for a little bit longer. And the problem is that the economy base hasn't spawned any ice. Or at least sold us any ice. So we have to buy oxygen our tanks and things like that so that's the op the other opportunity in terms of being a trader so we could buy oxygen <laughs> which sounds weird to me but yeah that's that's definitely something we're gonna have to do what did we get nothing great fun uh material wise we got some more cash Ooh, we got a better grinder that is awesome get rid of the first grinder now we have something a lot better and we can take this apart. Too bad there's no large steel tubes, but there are motors here. So that's going to help out a little bit with our um, needs here. All right, there we go. I think we're good to go. We should reinforce this just a tiny bit, just in case we break something once again. <laughs> Definitely need to fix the bottom a bit better. But yeah. This whole thing needs to be updated anyways to be a little more safer in terms of um, traveling. So we're going to have to deal with that sooner or later. Should we hit up a a base? Yeah, I guess we should. I mean, why not? Maybe it has things that we can utilize as well. Because we're, what we're doing now is, is fun, enjoyable to me. <laughs> but it doesn't really make for content. We're just doing search um, contracts. Going back and forth from unknown signals. So let's just do something different. Let's hit up this abandoned um, base really quick and see what's there. Actually, before we do that, do we have any other stations that we can check out that might be close by? Yep, Y30. That's close by. So let's go to Y30, check it out, and see what's there. Hopefully, we can get shot up. And maybe establish a base there So because it's nearby the economy base. And the economy base right here is the main one that we're going to trade with. And if we need to, and likely, we're going to have to find other ones to trade with as well. So now the problem with unknown, not unknown signals, but abandoned settlements, I never know if they're going to have any turrets or anything like that. So that's the biggest problem. 
So I'm going to have to park this guy right over here. To be on the safe side. Maybe, just maybe, equip myself with a weapon. Which I think we have this one with some ammo. Not a lot. 12 ammo. So let's see if we have a better one. Okay, 13. A little bit better. <laughs> Definitely not great. But let's see what's there. I mean, we should if we get close enough, if there is a turret, we're likely to get shot up at 8 meters or 600 meters. So we're looking okay now because I think we're uh, below the station itself for it to shoot us. So might be okay right now. But once I rear my head over this hill, let's see what happens. All right, so that's the station right there. And it looks like there is a turret. I'm not sure it's active or not, though. I don't think so. And I hope not. We are 500 away. So that's going to be interesting. If I take my approach close to the turret, definitely going to get shot. If I take my approach on this side of things, I might not get shot. So let's see what happens. I actually should have dropped my stuff off at the, at the uh, survival kit. So... We wouldn't lose anything. So I'm looking to see if we can get closer. I think we're okay. Hopefully. I really think it's going to pop up and scare me for a second there. But I think I fly a little bit faster. And looks like we're not getting shot at. So I think we're okay. Yep, we're definitely okay. Um, mm, is this a friendly or neutral base for whatever reasons? Not sure. But the, there is a, definitely a turret here. And it's not active. Haha. -ha. <laughs> that would have sucked if it was active. <laughs> Alright, so we could probably bring our rover here. And, ooh, look at this rover. Maybe we... Maybe we start riding on this thing now. <laughs> this thing looks so much cooler than my current one. Alright, so let's grab the rover, which is 800 away. And hopefully there's no, like, <laughs> random hidden turret that's on the ground and pops up and shoots us <laughs> while we get close. That would be funny, but also scary at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. And it looks like we have some stuff to scrap and loot, which is great. That's always great to have extra uh, materials here. First things first, we can check these freights to see if this ain't in there. And it looks like we got what we needed, actually. Large steel tube and a motor. So that's perfect. So we can throw our ice in there. The little that we have. So we can sustain ourselves with ice. I mean oxygen we we'll probably have to avoid using a hydrogen bottle right now for our jetpack because we don't have much ice left so that's going to be a problem down the line and of course we get materials from the freight itself now the other thing is that we do need to add and i think we do have to do this is to add another cargo space in or on our rover, our current rover. So we should have the materials to plot one on, I believe. Yep, we have enough. Which is great. And of course, we need to add a little bit more wheels in the back so things don't get destroyed here. So you could do that. Add the wheels. This is the left side. And this is the right side. Okay, so what we're going to do here basically is going to be a fun little thing called hop and add wheel. So we put our grouping of wheels right over here to do add wheel. We're going to hold X to hop. Can we hop? We can't hop. <laughs> you know why? Because nothing is welded together. So that was a bad plan. <laughs> so... The other option is to ramp this guy up just a tad. And that should do it too. And just back up into it. We should be okay to 
lift this thing up ever so slightly or not <laughs> so we just need a bit less of a tilt so we can do something like that that should be okay I think And we're not adding wheels because why? Uh, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> All right. So we now we got our wheels. Just to get the extra protection in the back for our, for our cargo. Because if we that gets destroyed, we have nothing left. Especially if we store all our materials in there, which... Probably shouldn't store everything in there anyways. Yes, I know I left the <laughs> cargo with uh, a bit of space on the bottom. I did that on purpose. It's just for now. Didn't really want, care to get underneath it and build something to attach it. So, but we have two points of contact. So that should be okay. We can add more points of contact here if we're really worried about it. So our wheels. We built a few new wheels. So of course, we're going to have to play around with things. All right, so that is a bit of an update to our rover. The rover is, you know, the stock one. Not the best looking one, to be honest. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> but it's op operational, so it's, it's not too bad. All right, so it's nighttime, so let's just keep looking around to see what else we can find. And some more welders, grinders, things we don't really need, which is okay. And... I guess we can start storing stuff in there. I do want to kind of change this thing out. I mean, this is what's going to make us our cockpit anyway. So that's a good thing. Oh, this looks cool. Small car containers. Ah, th this is a really cool little um, buggy, which I think I'm going to keep. Maybe I'll just leave it there for now. And there's a lot of um, shipping containers here as well, which is interesting. Ooh, some solar panels so we can get some power that way as well and I think that's it for the freight so let's check out the shipping containers all right there's more stuff here Ooh, ice perfect this is exactly what we needed so we can get that what is this this cool little tent looking like thing and there's some materials here materials here 10 power cells nice not 10 power cells so What's great about that is that we can make a bat uh, battery now for a rover if we need to. I'm not going to touch that just yet. And what we got here? We got a seat here. And there's an armory locker here, which is access denied. And there's a bed here, which is pretty cool. Um, The bed here, I don't think it's sitting in it. Oh, I could. But the block is not powered. So if it had power... Maybe and just maybe <laughs> we can see what's inside. Or can we see what's inside this way? The bed. Nope. No no loose change in this bed. <laughs> so the lockers might have something, but it's access denied. So we're going to have to drop these guys down, which is also ruining my rep with them, which is not good. But it pays out. It paid off because look, here's what's in the locker. So we'll come back for that. Last shipping container looks like. And it's got a freight. Okay. And ooh, a bulletproof glass. Even better. Alright. Now, should we have a rule to not take out these shipping containers? Probably not. It's minimal steel plates, so it's not nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna um, tear it down. Or you know what? I'm not even gonna tear it down per se. I think I'm going to build a base here, right? I should. Yeah, I think I should. Because we do protect ourselves with a turret, although we don't really have NPC stuff going on here, so we don't necessarily need a turret system. But we could keep it here if we want to. And it looks like there's a battery right here with uh, a lack of power cells, so that's not too great. But we also don't need the interior turret. <laughs> so... 
let's establish a base here. The bubble, or our safety economy base, is right over... That's not even it. Right over there. <laughs> so we have a place to go trading if we need to. Especially if we run out of materials. So we can, we definitely can establish a base here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Like the video. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.